it's media day for the Charlotte Hornets and a great day to see a team with a lot of high expectations coming in this year. I had the opportunity of catching up with Coach Clifford earlier and he spoke about what he'd learned as a first year coach. He said the m most important thing was he was not sure whether he would like being a head coach again, but he enjoyed being a head coach and talked about the things he had learned. Uh, had the opportunity of catching up and talking with each of the players this year and I tell you what, this is a team I think can really make some noise in the NBA this year. I can remember looking back at a team several years ago that only won seven games and half that roster was filled with players that could not even have made anybody else's NBA team though. But this team looks good. A big, strong, physical team. I think that they have talent at every area. Kimball Walker has worked on his shooting and Coach Clifford said he hopes for him. He's worked extremely hard on his shooting to be a 36 to 38 percent three-point shooter. If he can do that, he can take his game to another level. Big Al has worked hard on his game. I asked him what's he do for an encore. He said just come back and try to give more of what he gave last year. And again, he looked good, said he was in good shape. Michael Kidd Gilchrist has spent hour after hour taking thousands of shots with Mark Price this summer developing his shot and said he wanted to learn how to shoot the basketball. And it's a shame a guy with that kind of athletic ability that nobody has ever sat down and taught him the proper way. But look for him to be an improved shooter this year. Uh, another weapon in his game as far as being able to put the biscuit in the basket though. But again, Mark Price spent many hours working with Michael Kidd Gilchrist on not only being a slasher going to the basket and a passer, but being a shooter. And Coach Clifford said he feels comfortable with him shooting the ball from 19 feet away from the basket now though. Again, other new players. Stevenson comes in and will add a new dimension. He will either start at the two or the three this year with Marvin Williams will take over Josh McRoberts spot at the four right now. But there's a lot of things to be learned in training camp and it's hard to believe that there's only a week and a half before this team will actually tip off and play their first exhibition game. A lot of excitement today as they put on, some of the players put on the Hornet uniform, the white Hornet uniform for the very first time though. Uh, some of the players come back in. Gary Neal in excellent shape today. The best shape he's ever been with basketball. Looking forward to having a full season. Last year is tough coming in as he talked when talking with him about coming in in the middle of the season joining a team midway through. You kind of have to feel your way through that it's not your team but this will be his team. Look for him to have a bigger role in this year too. And also I talked to one of my favorite players, Park go today. This is a guy they re-signed as a free agent. Coach Clifford said that he will be a coach someday and I asked him if he planned into going to coaching. Yeah, and he said that he planned to but this is a guy who's going to bring it in the locker room. That they have got the players chemistry is something you luck into, Coach Clifford said too. It's hard to have the right chemistry but this team, Hornet team, had a lot of chemistry, good chemistry last year and will try to rebuild on that this year after losing Josh McRoberts, a key player off last year's team. They feel like they've got the players to step in and to be a good basketball team again this year. High expectations, again, this time last year, had a new coach, a new system to learn. Year two of Coach Clifford's system looks to be even bigger and better. A lot of excitement today from Media Day. I'm Coach Dick Cox reporting here in Time Warner Arena. Again, basketball is just around the corner, my favorite time of the year. See you later.